Hey everybody, this is Mr. Huma, and today we're on the uh, the Chaotic Igloo server. That's what we're calling this little server that we have here. Yeah, we have... I'm pretty sure I mentioned this in the last episode, but we have a... Um, we have a plugin that when you cut down the bottom of a tree, it cuts down the whole tree. And we've had problems with it where it's not giving saplings. We, it used to give leaves as well, and we turned that off because it was kind of annoying and, you know, kind of cheating a little bit. Just just a little bit. I mean, it's a plugin, so it's meant to change stuff, but, you know. So, but yeah, dropping not dropping saplings is kind of a problem. So we'll definitely have to work on that. But anyway, I'm just at the iron farm here. You can see we don't have this thing looking nice or anything. But we do have quite a bit of iron, so we're going to load up here. There we go. Yeah, so this is the iron farm that I mentioned here. It's just two villages. Actually, we'll come out here. That's just one village. You can, probably can't actually hear the water because I have my sounds down a whole bunch. But one village right here with a bunch of little capsules and stuff to store villagers. There's, you know, one capsule on each side. Golem spawn, fall in the hole, die in lava, and then hoppers pick up the loot. And then we have another village up there as well. So it's just a little two village golem farm here. Uh, and my base is just right down this way. But uh, yeah, so we're on the server here. I have actually been quite busy over the last week. Uh, i got quite a bit of stuff to show you. And I want to apologize that my videos were kind of off schedule a little bit. Kind of had a bit of a busy weekend. Uh, but we'll, we'll be on schedule again. So another Craft the World. This will be released on Wednesday. And another Craft the World will be uh, in two days from now on Friday. And then, of course, next Minecraft episode will be on schedule on uh, on Monday next week, as long as things all go to plan. So let's just craft all this up here. So I guess you guys will have already seen I made some changes to this. I finally spiced it up a little bit here. Let's just sleep. I still don't have a good spot for my bed, though. My bed's just kind of laying around wherever. Uh, I might just hide that away somewhere. Make make a little secret room or something like behind the door here actually I can't do that because I actually I could do that I have enough blocks that I could hide a bed back here because this just goes yeah I could do that actually I might do that just so that I can hide my bed a little bit but uh, yeah so I spice this up a little bit we have our uh, sandstone walls we have our nice floor I used um, the lanterns sea lanterns what are they called yeah, the sea lanterns for the lighting, and then of course just, you know, to try and add a little bit of color. I could do a little bit better job kind of behind the chests and stuff. I could hide some sandstone and stuff back there, but I'm not too worried about it because if you're looking at it from here, you don't, you don't really see that kind of thing. It's more or less, it looks like a pretty finished room, so I'm not too worried about it. Uh, I did make some changes though. Last episode I said I hadn't changed the storage room at all. I did make some changes to the bulk storage systems. I have a little light that will turn on when uh, when the storage system is basically two double chests away from being filled. When the second last double chest is has items in it, it will turn on the light basically. So uh, if I actually I'll come around here. I'll just quickly show you guys this real quick here. Uh, yeah, so you see the items, the bulk storage items. This is for the bulk storage here. It comes down along into an item sorter. Here's the item sorter right there. For, for example, this first one is cobblestone. So if cobblestone is running along these hoppers here, it'll go down into the droppers and it'll send them up to these double pistons or double uh, chests, sorry, that go down. And then this is where I access them is from this chest right here. Yeah, from that chest right there. That's that's the only visible chest for the bulk storage unit. Now, of course, this one is full and this one is not quite full yet. But so we have two double chests plus a little bit filled with cobble. But we still have five more double chests to go yet till we're, uh, till we're overflowing here. But I set up a comparator. If you look at that stone brick right there, that stone brick, there's a comparator behind it so it's going to check this second top chest here and if there is an item in that chest it'll turn the light is basically how it happens but the nice thing with how hoppers deal with items is that when items are 
you know, because when I input a cobblestone, it starts at the top and works its way down until it finds a home. So the nice thing with this is with how, how hoppers do with items, when I'm inputting stuff and there's like single pieces of cobblestone that are working their way down the system to find a home in these lower chests, it's not going to turn on the comparator because it just kind of instantly goes right through that chest. Uh, I don't know exactly the mechanics behind that, and that wasn't intentional, but hey, I'll take it. I mean, it's it's pretty nice. So uh, I'm just going to take out some cobblestone here, we'll huck it in there, and you won't see anything because the light shouldn't turn on. I haven't actually tested this though, <clears throat> but the light shouldn't turn on. Uh, and by this point, the cobblestone will be cycling through the system. You can't really see anything, but yeah, there's, there's no lights that are turning on. So uh, we should be all good. So yeah, so I have that for every single one here. I do have off-centered little uh, upside down stairs here, which is lined up with every bulk unit. Now I kind of like how that looks because it makes it really off-centered, but it also looks kind of weird. And if I were to redo this room, I would line up all the double chests and the bulk units, like line them up perfectly so that we just have some nice pillars. And uh, then we could actually make some like more official looking pillars that go straight across and stuff. And I think that would look pretty nice. But I'm happy with how this looks. Everything is all good except this chest here is kind of just random stuff. So yeah, I really don't have anything in there. And then uh, this one here, again, I haven't built that up yet. Now we did fight the Ender Dragon a couple days ago. We did that over the weekend. I didn't record it though. Uh, there's just a group of three as three of us that were working on that or that did that i guess so and i'm not going to end up building an enderman farm either because ender pearls just aren't worth farming and i don't want to take that much time to do it um i think i don't think i showed you guys this either did i i have a enchanting room just a basic little room with a max level enchanting station here i don't know why i have that bow uh yeah so that's about all there is to this but uh, yeah, nice little room. Uh, then we come over here, and uh, I did work on my farms. So if we come through here, you can see before I just had a little thing dug out here. Well, we now have a functional wheat farm. And if we come up here, uh, if we come up right here, not there, this one. We have a functional potato farm. I'm gonna close this off, because these guys like to just try and escape. So you have potato farm, and then right up top here, carrot farm. So these are all 100% automate. Oh, whoops, 100% automated, and we have all their loots are going uh, down. So the potatoes and carrots. Basically, the mechanic behind it is the villagers are trying to breed. We have villagers. Uh, let me go up there and see if you guys, can, if I can show you guys real quick here. We have villagers. Uh, I can't really show you. Oh shoot. Please don't break. Oh, you broke. Hopefully he'll fix it. He should replant it. Hi. You're not escaping today. Let's come up here. We should be able to see it from up here. Yeah, so you see there's a villager right there. So he is going to walk over to that. You can see there's a little piston over there. He's going to walk into that block there. And he's going to, when he has enough food, he'll try and throw the food. Maybe he'll do it here. There you go. He throws the food trying to give it to the villager but of course he can't reach the villager the villager can't pick it up so it just goes in the water and then falls down uh, and the reason that, that the piston and stuff is there is there is and the reason he keeps going back there is because I have a little there's a little circuit set up there where when he leaves the tripwire so when he gets off the tripwire uh, the, the carrot or the crop that he plants will be uprooted because there's a piston that pulls the dirt down and then back up. So he tries to plant it and then he, as soon as he leaves to go harvest something or plant something else, it just gets uprooted and it keeps doing that over and over and over. So he is continuously coming back here and then when he has enough food, he'll just, you know, when he's over there trying to get the crop, he'll also throw some food down. I think that's how it works. This design is not mine. Uh, link will be in the description if you guys want to uh, build this for yourselves. Uh, yeah, so then the, the potatoes and carrots fall down to there, into that water stream. Uh, and then those get... Let's see, is this the right one? Yeah, and then those get picked up by a hopper here. 
They get picked up by that hopper and then go along this hopper array into a really basic sorting system. And then for the wheat, we just have a minecart hopper that are running back and forth. They dry. Uh, they just have a hopper minecart that are going that's going back and forth, picking up all the wheat. Uh, and that's that's about it for that. And then over here. Over here we just have some item sorters for our four crops here. Uh, anything extra, these can be this can be a full stack of carrots, and it's not gonna mess up any of the other item sorters. So if we have all of our carrot chests, and you can see there's there's a couple there's a, there's a couple chests down there. If we have all of these filled with carrots, and this thing is filled with carrots, of course it was gonna just you know it's gonna keep going along, and there's not gonna be room for the carrot in here. So it's just going to go into this dropper, which just dispenses it into lava. And so far, the lava hasn't caught anything on fire, so I think we should be okay in that regard. We'll bring these up here. Okay, and then if we come over here, I'm just going to block this off. I'm not quite ready to reveal that to, to everybody yet, even though they can just watch my videos, but whatever. Our, our uh, squid farm is coming along quite nicely. Wow, nothing spawned down here. So this is where all the chests are. We have our seeds, our wheat, potatoes, and carrots. And I guess I can go pop that in there. So yeah, we have plenty of bulk storage for uh, all of our crops. And we have a uh, an overflow, support for overflow as well, so nothing gets, you know, jammed up or just, you know, overflows. So yeah, and then also down here, I'm thinking I'm gonna have bulk storage for all of my animal farms as well, or just have a chest that goes down here and a you know, whole chest array and whatnot. Uh, yeah, so this will basically be like a replica of what's up top, except instead of the farms, we'll just have the storage down here. And then my next project, which I should have done for next week, I'll try and do the whole storage thing for the animal farms this week as well. And then I'm gonna work on a sugarcane farm over here as well. But yeah, so we, we've had a pretty productive week so far. Or just, we've had a very productive week. And then over here is where I'll start. I guess I have to do watermelon and pumpkin farms too. I don't know if I want to do, yeah, actually I could do that. We could do a sugarcane farm right here. And then watermelon and pumpkin farms kind of down here a little ways and then off to that side. That'd be doable. Because we don't have a whole lot of room over here because of the furnace. Or because of the full furnace array setup thing that we have. But I think that's about it for this one. I'm pretty sure that was everything. I haven't changed anything with my furnaces. I got showed this right. Yeah, I think that's everything. And I'm gonna, probably going to do a little something for my bed. But it is kind of nice just to have my bed right there. I don't know yet. Or I could even just have like a button here. Or I could hide a button somewhere maybe no maybe not I could have a button here pulls the piston back so you sleep in the bed and then and then it just kicks you out and hopefully back to I don't know I'll figure that out though or maybe I'll make a full-on bedroom or something I don't know but that's it for this one guys thank you so much for watching if you liked the video please give it a like if you have any suggestions for anything you want me to build just let me know uh, and I guess I'll try and show you guys the zombie farm like the gold farm and the slime farm. I'll try and show you guys those like next week maybe. But uh, yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next one.